Welcome to Gretna, also known as the Gateway of Scotland. This uh, town is really straddles England and Scotland, and uh, yeah, my home country of England is just, you know, a few miles away from me right now. And uh, yeah, I have been to Gretna before for a video, and a little bit different conditions to what it what they are now. Just check this out. Look, spring is definitely here, but last time I was here, it was very wintry. But now, just check this out. But yeah, last time I made a vlog here was back in the, I think it was my first video of Vlogmas. Uh, maybe it was my second, like it was like the first or second of December or something. And uh, yeah, it was absolutely freezing. It's still a little bit nippy now, but yeah, just look at this. This is what days are made of for me. Please do remember to hit that like button because I am loving what I'm doing today. I've just been to Annan to film a video. I'm now going to Gretna and uh, yeah, look at this. Beautiful sunny day like that. Sunny's on inside two stadiums. Life doesn't really get much better than that for me. So yeah, please do hit that like button and subscribe if you aren't already. But yes, I am here to cover Gretna again. Last time I came here was just from the outside and I spoke a lot about their history. So if you want to find out more about that, I'll leave a link to it down in the description box below so you can find out more about Gretna. But basically there's been a few iterations of this club. One, the, the one that there is now, Gretna 2008, playing the Lowland League. They're about 14th out of 17 teams I think are in the Lone League at the moment. They have had a tough time. They are a Phoenix club, born out of the club that was here before. That club that was here before reached the Scottish Cup final in 2006, losing on penalties to Hearts. And they also got into the UEFA Cup for finishing in the Cup final. So yeah, they played in Europe, yet they are now considered non-league I suppose they're not in the SPFL anymore they had quite the rise got some money pumped into the club then unfortunately the owner died and that money dried up and then the club kind of fell into disrepair or whatever liquidation and now there's a Phoenix club in their name called Gretna 2008 lovely little seats they've got here look padded love that and then look you can just chill here and what a beautiful day that is look at that I mean you really can't beat a good day like this to come and check out some football stadiums there's um I can see a flag in someone's back garden of a Union Jack and I have a lot of Rangers fans at the moment everyone obviously flying the Union Jack celebrating title number 55 so if you are a Rangers supporter or a supporter of any other club in Scotland please do remember to hit that like button but firstly I've got something to tell you and so yeah what a day I'm having today what a beautiful sunny day I absolutely love this I love coming to look at stadiums I've been here before like I say from the outside that'll be linked below and I've just filmed a video at Anna now I am filming these videos today for Fanbase a brand new app where they are revolutionizing clubs at this level in terms of ticketing content digital programs that kind of stuff Fanbase's app will be the first link in the description box below I will also include their social media on there as well so if you want to keep up to date with what they're doing please go and follow them and let them know I sent you as well just so they know just so they know that you guys are watching this video and you're engaged and you like what I talk about but yeah all that stuff aside what they're doing is great work because what they're gonna do is for clubs like this they probably have a lot on their plate just now especially with like covid and stuff like that and trying to like restart and stuff i think the lowland league is due to restart just at the end of the euros i believe so yeah like there's a lot that this club has to deal with like especially with all the restrictions that have been going on at the moment and stuff so trying to find someone to help with their like digital um presence has been really hard i imagine and uh, and an app like Fanbase comes along and uh, completely revolutionises the way that Scottish football at this level will work. And what you can do on there is, like I say, buy tickets, you can get content on there from clubs, you can get yeah, digital programmes and stuff like that. So if you are a Gretna supporter, or I've just been to Annan, or they have loads of other clubs in there as well, but if you are Gretna specifically because you're watching this video, I guess you might be a Gretna fan, then download Fanbase, find Gretna, sign up to what they're doing, and you can support the club. And uh, yeah, once things open again, come and get yourself a digital ticket you can come and watch a match and uh, yeah come and do what you love to do come and watch the football at the weekend download the app it's gonna be great honestly as soon as things open up again as well it's gonna be massive so yeah you ain't gonna want to miss out on it download it thank you very much <laughs>
and yeah look absolutely amazing to think that um like i say do go back and watch my gretna video but this club here was once yeah in the uefa cup they uh, played in the qualifying round and they got to the scottish cup final where they drew with hearts but they um eventually would go on to lose on pen sadly but yeah they got to the cup final they uh, got up into the Premiership for a season as well, and then the funding got taken out of the club. They unfortunately weren't the same club anymore, got liquidated. And uh, yeah, there's this Phoenix Club now, but at least they play at their old home ground, Raydale Park. Great to see the identity back, and it's a well-branded stadium. You've got Gretna and the badge up there with the anvil. The anvil is a nod to uh, Gretna, the town, because I think a lot of people get married here or something, and there's like a famous anvil that you get married next to. And yeah, it's really nice to see, like I say, a well-branded stadium. And uh, yeah, they are actually, look, this, as you can see, is a real grass pitch, but they are having an artificial pitch put on very shortly. I believe over the summer, in, to, in uh, ready for next season, in time for next season, they will have a 3G pitch, an all-weather pitch. Some people like to call it artificial pitch. Whatever you call it, it's going to have one here at Gretna as well. So things are moving forward for this club. They are getting forward. You know, they've got fan base coming, digital ticket in. They've got 3G pitch coming. And yeah, look. What a beautiful sunny day. If uh, a nice day like this doesn't make you want to come and watch the football when it restarts, then I don't know what will. Gretna, what a welcoming club with, uh, yeah, great history there as I've, uh, well, go and watch my other video to learn more about the history, but they've got a good load of stuff coming up as well. And look, to talk about their history a little bit more, here is Anvil Hall. I believe this is an extremely famous place where people come and get married and, uh, yeah, it's like very famous in the UK for that, for marriages, for weddings and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, the anvil is on the Gretna badge and this is Anvil Hall where, like I say, people get married and it's all linked to the football club. In that, it is on the badge. I absolutely love stuff like that. I love linking the town to the football and I'm sure the anvil would be in here somewhere. But yeah, there you go. A little fact about Gretna and the anvil. What a day I've had today. Scored a goal at Annan, probably the best goal I've ever scored on this channel. Top bins from the pen spot. I don't even think uh, Cammy Bell, who I interviewed, could have saved that. And uh, yeah, I've then been to Gretna, getting on two pitches in one day. Plus having the sun out, I mean, what a great day. Finishing it, off, finishing it off here where, you know, it's linked to the football club with the anvil and all that. Absolutely love it. I could not be more buzzing. Like I say, please hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. So close to 20,000 subs. I'm trying to get there as quick as possible. So please hit that little red button. It means so much to me. But yeah, there's so much more football content coming. And uh, yeah, the Euros is coming soon. Restrictions are lifting. There's going to be videos coming from England very shortly. So uh, yeah, keep an eye out for that stuff. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll leave some videos around my head as ever so you can keep watching my content. Please do click on one before I leave you so you can keep watching. Um, yeah, one of them will be the Gretna video. So uh, yeah, do click on that if you want to learn more about Gretna. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.